in tuberculosis patients interfer interferon release is triggered by which tubercular antigen right so options are cat g esat6 esx1 and esat10 in tuberculosis patients interfer interferon release is triggered by which tubercular antigen right so options are cat g esat6 esx1 and esat10 okay so this uh, this part i have already addressed in detail in the regular tuberculosis video so this is something that one cannot afford to forget in tuberculosis patient interferon release is triggered by which tubercular antigen right so we are all familiar with thing called as interferon gamma release assay right igra and we are also familiar with the ppd skin test right both of them are actually trying to assess the interferon release by th1 cells right so these are assessing these methods are trying to assess interferon mainly the type 1 interferon or interferon gamma release by th1 cells right so th1 cells will release interferon gamma on specifically challenging with the the tubercular antigens right so this th1 cell immune activation is already occurred if patient is exposed to tubercular bacilli in the past right it's already occurred the th1 cells are activated now whenever there is th1 th1 cell activation they produce tnf alpha which are involved in recruitment of macrophages at the site of infection and it also produces interferon gamma which is concerned with the vasculotoxic substance it is so it is concerned with vasodilatation then erythema formation and edema formation because of exudation right so whatever exudative manifestation we talk about tuberculosis exudative effusion here effusion there it is because of interferon gamma right and also the edema that we see when we do the ppd test the man2 test that is also because of the interferon gamma so your man2 test is also trying to test th1 cells reaction when it is challenged with the antibodies that yeah, tubercular antibodies because they are the th1 cells are already exposed and they are charged up similarly interferon gamma release assay is following the same principle right okay now in case of interferon gamma release assay one has to remember that in igra we are basically challenging the the human body by giving them tubercular antigens which are esat6 or culture filtrate protein 10 right esat6 or culture filtrate protein 10 if you remember from the main video i have discussed this point these two are important virulence factors right these two are very very important virulence factors for the tubercle bacilli the more details i can i think you can better watch the regular video but for now remember it is esat6 or the other option could have been cfp10 both will be valid right answers right okay so just a quick recap of the virulence factors there is a factor called as cord factor which actually prevents fusion of phagosome with lysosome that is one mechanism how tubercle bacilli evade destruction inside the phagocyte these are intracellular organisms they survive inside the phagocytes by es escaping from this lysosome phagosome fusion right then cat g is what i have already discussed cat g codes for catalase peroxidase system that prevents uh, the oxidative stress of the host cell killing the mycobacteria right it acts as a defense against the oxidative stress of the host cell okay and we all know that this cat g is required for activation of inh and certain mutations of cat g may be associated with inh resistance okay then we had also discussed about an rd1 locus which is actually coding for ether esat6 and cfp10 and a secretory system required for efflux of these esat6 and C cfp10 molecules right now these molecules play an important role in recruitment of uninfected macrophages for further round of infection how do they recruit right they basically it is the th1 stimulation so the th1 cells sense these and get activated and they secrete tnf alpha which recruit more macrophages right so by challenging with esat6 or cfp10 you will be able to demonstrate that there is interferon gamma release and this is what we call as tb quantiferon gold right quantiferon gold which is a quantitative estimation of interferon gamma released on challenging with either esat6 or cfp10 tb quantiferon gold right so esat6 is the one which is most commonly used clear okay huh. then moving on to there are other virulence factors like v atipase which actually prevents acidification of phagosome so once the, the mycobacteria are engulfed by the macrophages right they are inside the macrophage in the form of a phagosome which is often acidified by the host cell that can be inhibited by v atipase okay 
and then they also have a lipoarabinom mannan which acts as an inhibitor of intracellular calcium uh, influx right like this phagosome and lyso then they fuse this fusion reaction also needs the calcium increase in the intracellular calcium this this is brought about by the calcium calmodulin pathway so this lipoarabinom mannan inhibits that so there are various mechanisms how the tubercle bacilli evades host's immune response right clear so going back to the question the answer is straightforward this is esat 6